ever thought about this? In a hundred years, so like 21, 23, we will all be buried with our families and friends. Strangers will live in our homes that we worked so hard to build and someone else will own everything we have today. Most of our possessions will be given away or thrown out and destroyed, including the car that we spent a fortune on and will probably be scrapped. Our descendants will hardly know who we are, nor will they remember us. I mean, how many of us know who our grandfather's father was? After we die, we will be remembered for a few more years and then we're just a portrait on someone's wall. And a few decades later, our history, photos and deeds disappear into history's oblivion. We won't even be memories. If we pause one day to analyze these questions, perhaps we would understand how pointless it is for us to worry about 95% of the things that consume our minds daily. If we could only think about this, surely our approaches, our thoughts would change and we would do things differently. Perhaps we would feel more free to enjoy ourselves and our lives that we're living. Take these thoughts into the rest of your day, this week, this year, and remember the saying, if it's not going to matter in five years, don't spend more than five minutes being upset by it.
turnover rates vary from one organisation to another, but what turnover and retention trends exist and what factors influence why people are choosing to remain. The government has now announced a series of measures to resurrect its immigration plans. A new treaty with Rwanda, which would prevent the removal of asylum seekers back to their home country, and emergency legislation to mark Rwanda as a safe country. There we go. <laughs> You need hobbies that are going to help you to glow up okay because working eating sleeping and repeating is probably why you're so unfulfilled in life when i don't have hobbies i feel like my life is boring so let's get into some hobbies that are going to help you glow the heck up so the first one is dance classes or any kind of classes where you're doing movement so like belly dancing you can do hip-hop ballet r b make sure you're recording yourself as you're doing these classes because ugh, it's going to increase your confidence and you're just going to feel like an overall body. Like whenever I've recorded myself, I'm not a dancer, right? But whenever I've recorded myself dancing and then I continue to master whatever dance I'm trying to do, I feel like a body. Like I feel like a body. And if I could do that as a hobby all the time, why not? If you don't want to go to an actual dance class, YouTube choreography, like girl, I don't want to hear that I don't have money excuse. Go onto your YouTube, yeah, and flip and type out choreography for Chris Brown, choreography for whatever your favorite song is, and girl, just learn the dance, record yourself, and watch it back, and feel your confidence just go all the way up. Right, so the next one is knitting. Oh my gosh, knit yourself a whole new flipping wardrobe. If you ain't got money, make the clothes. I'm telling you from now. I always thought to myself, knitting was like boring but i've been seeing some girls doing their thing on social media knitting these really nice cardigans and it's like we're in the season of knitwear so why don't you just make yourself some like again youtube can teach you how to knit you can do some classes whatever it is knit yourself something final one is learning a language but learn a language of a country that you're going to go to like next year or if you're planning on going on some kind of holiday learn the language now i went portugal this year right and best believe i didn't know any portuguese i felt so stupid i said why am i here it was a great trip right but i said why am i here because why you go to a country you don't know the language like literally if you want to level up your communication and your bilingual skills get you some kind of app like duolingo do some classes i don't know what it is but there's just something about them bilingual babes like they are given they are given like just being able to switch to any kind of language yeah you're given sis i need as i'm even telling you guys this now i'm thinking what language i want to learn and i think it might be portuguese because i'm having another go to a country and i don't know the language shenanigans anyway guys do these and remember you don't always need money to do hobbies like sometimes you just need to use initiative and you know learn these things at home maybe initially maybe initially like for the knitting one you might need money but in general sis you're good try out these hobbies and if you want like an example of more hobbies that will help you to glow the heck up here's the reason why you should not trust screenshots like this one let me show you how to make fake whatsapp conversation like this one in less than 30 seconds all you have to do is to go to this website then click on social media go to whatsapp then whatsapp chat now you can start creating fake whatsapp conversation from here when you're done click the download button and the worst part is this website allows you to fake conversation for these social media platforms And also, it's an ancient boxing, ladies and gentlemen. This whole event is.
sanctioned under the auspices of England boxes. All the officials here. Oh, you're the